What's going on everybody? It's Brian and Nathan. We're up north, we're in northern Wisconsin uh, for a long weekend. We've got a couple other buddies up here on a different lake, but it's just a nice end of the summer, first part of fall, little fishing trip, and I think we've hit it just right. We've got low 60 to mid 60 degree water temps, kind of the first big cool down of the year, and these fish should be holding in shallow weeds with uh, top waters and bucktails being the main things that I think we're going to throw. So we're going to get started here very shortly, see if we can contact some fish. And uh, on a side note, you may have noticed this side of my face looks a little weird. Don't worry, I'm not having a stroke even though I act like it sometimes. There's just a little nerve thing going on um, that just shut down this side of the face. So I'm okay for the most part. Um, just look a little weirder than usual. So, with that out of the way, we are going to get casting and hopefully get a fish in the boat for you. Oh, oh, there was a fish. Yeah, that was a fish. Looked like a nice fish. Got him, got him. Nope, he's off, he's off, he's off. See? I tell you what, man. I saw peel that way. These fish out here. They will take off on you. You just keep figuring, because yeah. I almost guarantee you they will come back. Dang, I oh. that, way. Like, oh, he's gone. that was a nice little fish. Yeah. That was on. We're chucking double eights out here. This is a little Esox Assault double eight. First spot, first contact with a fish. And for whatever reason, and fish act different on different lakes, but this lake. They show up, they peel off, and just when you think they're gone, they come right back. And I had that fish hooked up for a split second. It's a nice little fish. That's a good sign. There's a fish. That's small. I don't think it's, oh, he just got off. He just got off. Uh, the bait literally hit the water and it blew up on it. Uh, let's well, let's just call it a pike. How about that? Man, bait hit the water and it uh, blew up. Gah! Yeah, dude. I mean, it, seriously, if you want to put a plop plop on, you work it pretty slow. Or? Yeah, just. Is this the spot for it? Yeah, on top of any of these. Faux shizzle. Uh-huh. Sure. Oh. There's a fish. <gasps> no, 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 no. He might, he might follow in if he didn't, if he didn't get hit too hard. That was a whack. Yeah. Wow, dude. I mean, the good, the, the good thing is we're definitely on yeah. a pattern. We've fished four separate humps, bucktails. Got the heart going. <laughs> oh, he whacked that good. Did he really? I mean, so two of them were for sure muskies. Two of them are, who knows, they were fish that hit out. So they could be pike. There's pike in here. But at least we're contacting fish just about everywhere we go. And the whole shallow weeds bucktail thing is working out for us so far. All right, everybody, we are in the power hour out here, and uh, we've basically been throwing the same baits all day, just bucktails and topwaters. We haven't moved much for fish. I shouldn't say that. We've thrown, what, Custom X for a little bit? Yep. Um, so we did switch it up a little bit, but for the most part, this is a bucktail lake, so that's what we've been sticking with. Um, I think when we first got here, we hit a nice little window. We saw four fish in the first four spots, and then it just kind of died on us. But 
We've been in our low light um, time of day here. Should be a really good hour. We're hoping we can get a fish and not have screwed it up entirely by missing that first one. That was a bummer because it actually had hooks into that one. Had a couple other hits, some follows. Um, so we're gonna go back on some of those spots that we saw those fish, see if we can get one of them to commit. All right, I'm switching out. I'm using the same. I'm using a double eight, but I'm going with the killer corn, the old war horse. Watch out now. Was that a fish? Get the f out. Wow. Well, folks, <laughs> we just had a fish eat, what, 200 yards out there? Yeah. And we just fished over there. Yeah. Come on, fish, give us a break. Oh, so dumb. Muskies are dumb. Are you kidding me? Dude. <laughs> I'm, I'm going right back down that way. Yep. Yep. I'll burn right through these weeds to get to those fish. Yeah. Those are bigger fish eating, man. Yeah. Uh, oh, right there, right next to my bait. Yeah, I don't. It wasn't going after my bait. I just happened to cast next to it. Are you kidding me? Dude, these fish are on the move right now and I don't know why we can't get one to hit our baits. All right, that's it. They're being dumb. We're going Lee Lures, if I can get this apart. Flap nine, so we've had three if I could hold on to my leader. Three big fish in the last, what, five minutes? Yeah. Just absolutely blow up. Yeah. They're not loons. I mean, we're literally looking right at it when it happened. They are fish. So let's get this done. Running out of time. I mean, that was legit three. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Keep it going, speed it up a little bit. Go around that corner. Still with it? Oh. He had a ripped, uh, ripped nose. Yeah. He wasn't very big. Yeah, he's a little guy, but. Yeah. Probably a 30, 32. Right. Had his nose right on the bait. Did he really? Yeah. Well, gosh, and of course it's getting dark out, so. We may be fishing under the lights here. I got lights. We can do this. If the muskies want to be like that. Well, yeah, I, so technically I think probably one of the better day. I mean, Nate and I put six fish in the boat, but one of them was a baby. Yeah. So it's like five good ones. And then, I mean, so technically we did catch six muskies this last trip on one day, yep. but one of them was, where was that? That's yeah, right over there. <sighs> too. Dude. That's out in the middle of nowhere. That's, he's about 200 yards. Yep. I, I, is he just off? Oh! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Oh, no. no. That was a decent fish. <sighs> ah. him. Yeah, yeah. I had a good set. Oh. I had his head down. Everything was right. Well, I don't know what everybody saw of that, but that was us losing a fish. I had it right. Fish. Man. You know what? We're fishing. I don't, I'll heat up dinner when we get back. They are, there's muskies jumping everywhere. We just had one on a top water. We're going to keep fishing. That's it. We're, we're fishing. Him. There's three head shakes. Good hook set. All right. Well, we are back at the launch. That 
was a cool day, a little disappointing, um, but we had a ton of action from a lot of fish. It's the first day of our trip, so just kind of getting our feet wet. Um, such a cool lake. It's one of my favorite lakes to fish up here. Uh, a lot of fish uh, up where we would expect, expect them to be this time of year. Shallow weeds, topwaters, and bucktails. Just one of my favorite ways to fish them was definitely the thing. Unfortunately, we couldn't bag a fish, but we had uh, a fish hooked up. Nate had his first topwater fish uh, hit, and we just couldn't get it in the net. Uh, a couple head shakes out there, and he got off. So there's always tomorrow. Hopefully, uh, we will be more successful. We're going to come back here and try it again. So that's the plan. Um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. So check that out. That'll be a video coming up. In the meantime, I'll put some videos over here for you to watch. You can subscribe right here. Thank you, each and every one of you, for watching. Good night.